Okay, so we're going to solve this problem where we're given the product 1 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial, the product of all the factorials up to 1000 factorial. And we need to find a way of expressing this for positive integers a, b and c like this as the square of a factorial times a power of 3 times a power of 4. And the key to getting started on this problem, I think, is to, instead of having this product written as a product of factorials, we'll rewrite this in a different way that's going to help us to take out powers of 3 and powers of 4. So we think, first of all, a thousand factorial is a thousand times 999 times 998, all the way down to times 2 and then times 1. So in all of these factorials times together, the number a thousand is only actually appearing once and that's in 1,000 factorial. So we've got 1,000 or 1,000 to the power of 1. Then for the next number, 999, that appears twice. It's in 1,000 factorial, and it's also in the previous term, 999 factorial. So we can write this as 1,000 times 999 squared. Then 998 is going to appear three times. That's going to appear in 1,999 and also 998 factorial. And we can keep going like this, you see a nice pattern starts to emerge, 997 to the power of 4, 996 to the power of 5, 995 to the power of 6. And we're seeing here we've got a power of 4, we've got a power of 3, and even this 995 to the power of 6 is actually also a power of 3, because this is 995 squared cubed. So we'll work with this column, these where we've got a power of a multiple of 3, these are going to be really useful for taking out a power of 3 from this entire product. So let's just fill in a few more here, 993 to the power of 8, 992 to the power of 9, and then we go down to 991 to the power of 10, and so on. So just focusing on this column on the right hand side here, we've got a power of 3, 998 to the power of 3, 995 to the power of 6 is just 995 squared to the power of 3, this next one is just 992 cubed to the power of 3, and so on. So we can actually rewrite this entire column as a single power of 3. So this isn't necessarily going to be our value of b, because we could also multiply this power of 3 by another power of 3, and we would still have a power of 3. So that's not locking in our value of b just yet, but we're taking out lots of powers of 3 from this column. So we can write this as 998 times, the next one is 995 squared times 992 to the power of 3, and so on, all cubed. So we've taken out this entire column as just a power of 3. And then we could look at our powers of 4, the 4, 8, and then we'd have 12 would already be in this column and it would get quite messy. But there's quite a nice way of using the fact that we're allowed a power of 3 and a power of 4 to deal with most of this left-hand column. So if we ignore the 1000 for now, if we just focus on all of these terms here, we can rewrite all of these terms as we've got a power of 4, then this 7 is a power of 4 times a power of 3, and where we've got a power of 10 here, this is a power of 4 times a power of 6. So we can rewrite this whole expression as 997 to the power of 4 times, we'll say 994 to the power of 4, so all of these to the power of 4, then we'll write our remaining powers underneath. So we've also got the 997 to the power of 4 doesn't need anything else, but then we've got times 994 to the power of 3, and then we've got times 991. To make this up to a power of 10, this is a power of 6, then the next one would be 988 to the power of 9, and so on. So you can see now we've actually managed to express most of this column now as the product of powers of 4 and also powers of 3. So we can write this as our power of 4 contribution is going to be 997 times 994 times 991, all the way to the bottom, that will get multiplied by 4. And then we can also multiply this by all of these remaining terms, just like we did for this right-hand column. We can express this now as 994 times 991 squared times 988 cubed, and so on, and this is all raised to the power of 3. So we've managed to express all of these terms as the product of a power of 4 and a power of 3, We've got all of these terms as a power of 3, so you can see we could multiply together everything in each of these brackets to get a different power of 3 that could contribute towards our b value there. And we can also deal with just this remaining term at the top, the 1000. So this is very fortunate because 1000 is actually just 10 
to the power of 3, so we can add this into our power of 3 contribution. And now we need to deal with these remaining terms from the product. And this is where we can actually take advantage of the fact that we're allowed to have a factorial number squared in our final expression, because so far we've only just taken out powers of 3 and powers of 4. So it'll become important later on, but here can you see how these are all multiples of 3 raised to powers? So the n term here would be 3, and this would be to the power of 998, because 3 appears in all of the factorials other than 1 factorial and 2 factorial. Or you might have spotted the pattern that the sum of the number plus its power is always 1001. So now there's a nice trick to get a factorial number squared out of this, but first of all we're just going to take out lots more powers of 3. And we'll do this by, can you see how these are all a 5, 8, so these are all a multiple of 3 plus 2, other than this 999 term. So then let's just take out a power of 2 of everything. So we've got 999 squared times 996 squared times 993 squared, all the way down to times 3 squared. And then what's left over, there's nothing needed for the 999, but everything that remains then, this 996 to the power of 3, then we've got 993 to the power of 6, all the way down to 3 to the power of 996. So actually everything here, because the powers are multiples of 3, this whole expression can then be written as a single power of 3. So we can write all of this as 996 times 993 squared, and so on down to 3 to the power of 332 all cubed. So we can take everything in this bracket here and add it to this bracket for our growing power of 3 term. But this doesn't answer the question what's left with this term all squared here. So if I label this, we'll put this in a box as star here, let's just rewrite this now. And you can see these are all, it's almost like a factorial, but everything's a multiple of 3. So there's a nice way of re-expressing this, is we could actually just take out a factor of 3 from each of these numbers, or a factor of 3 squared. So 999 squared we could write as 3 squared times 333 squared. Then the next one would be 3 squared times 332 squared. And you can see now we're starting to get this factorial type structure and this goes on all the way to 3 squared times 1 squared for our 3 squared term there. So then we can rewrite this as 3 squared, and this will be appearing 333 times, so it's 3 squared to the power of 333. Then you can see we've just got 333 squared, 332 squared, 331 squared, so this is actually just going to be times 333 factorial all squared. So then there's just the question of what do we do with this 3 squared to the power of 333 term. Well this is 3 to the power of 666, or we can rewrite this as being 3 to the power of 222 all cubed. So we've actually got an extra term which we can add in then to our power of 3 term. And at this point the problem is actually solved, but let's just write this now in full. So our product, we originally had the product going from 1 factorial all the way to a thousand factorial is, first of all, our value of a was 333 for this solution to the problem. So we've got 333 factorial all squared, and we'll actually just go to the power of 4 because that's a bit nicer to write. So we can write this as 997 times 994 going down in threes, and they're all just to the power of 1, and this is raised to the power of 4. So this product here is our value of c. And then finally for our value of b, the number that we're raising to the power of 3, let's try and write all of this out. So we've got 994 times 991 squared and so on. And then we're also multiplying this by all of these terms, so multiplied by 998 times 995 squared and so on, where we go down in threes and then raise the power each time. And we also had this 10 from having a thousand being 10 to the power of 3, so times 10. And we also gained this 3 to the power of 222 term. And finally we also had this term here in the bracket, so times 996 times 993 squared and so on, where we go down in threes and add 1 to the power each time, all the way down to 3 to the power of 332. So this is our value of b for this solution to the problem then, 
and we've managed to express the original product of factorials then as the product of a factorial squared times a power of 3 times a power of 4.